In my testing weird rackets video, I asked you guys in the comment section which weird racket should I pick to play a set against a 5.0 player. And I'm very nervous playing with this thing. It's gonna be weird trying to figure out what side of the racket to use. And I haven't really hit any backhands with it, so uh, the backhand might not work at all. So we'll see what happens. But I've never actually lost to somebody at the 5.0 level. And today might be the day, guys. This might be the first time in my life that I lose to someone with the 5.0 rating. Ah, I'm feeling tight today. Feeling a little bit anxious too. And what's the best way, guys, to get rid of a little bit of nervousness, a little bit of tightness, you gotta warm your body up, right? And I'm gonna have to be really warmed up because the player I chose to be in this video is one of my former students, Evan, who played Division Three for Vassar. He's a really solid 5.0 player. And the interesting thing is that not only did I never lose to a 5.0 level player, I've also never lost to one of my students. So today, because of this weird racket, and thanks guys, by the way, for choosing it, it might be the first time ever that I lose to one of my students.
Guys, I cannot say that was fun. Thanks a lot for picking this racket. That was maybe the worst match I've played in a long time. And the reason was the racket. I could not serve at all. My flat serve was gone. I couldn't hit any service winners. I couldn't hit any aces. I think I had three aces and those were slices. That caught Evan by surprise. And the biggest problem was my forehand. I just kept shanking so many forehands. I did not trust to rip my forehand. I was careful. I was pushing the ball. The only thing that worked surprisingly well uh, was the backhand slice. I felt like I was hitting the backhand slice really well. Now the big problem with this racket is actually the strings, but I think it's uh, Kevlar. That's what it feels like. I'm not quite sure. And who knows when this was strung. I actually got this racket off of eBay and I would love to restring it, but I have no idea how to string this racket. So. I had to play with these strings that gave me absolutely no power, so this was some of the slower shots I've ever hit. Normally I like to rip the ball and I get quite easy power, but with this racket I had a very good, difficult time uh, generating speed. So guys, as great as this idea is of the ergonome racket with the angled racket head, I cannot get used to the shape of the racket head. It was also very confusing on the backhand side. I could not hit my two-handed backhand at all. So for that reason, there's absolutely no way uh, I could play with the racket like that a lot of people ask me nick why did you pick the wilson sledgehammer as the only racket you could play with in that testing weird rackets video and i had this suspicion that this racket was too confusing i kind of got lucky when i was sitting at the ball machine i ripped balls and they were going in but i knew that the confusing part about which way to hold the racket would be very difficult in a match situation but nevertheless it was fun trying this racket out and i hope you guys enjoyed watching me play with it